Hey guys, welcome back. Rock on. Thanks for joining me. What I want to do is go over a stencil, a skull stencil from Air Oil and Lead. Steve Gibson's set. Um, I want to show you how easy it is to make skulls like this. Super duper, super duper easy. Um, so I'm going to go over the process with you. And uh, what he calls this is his money maker stencil because um, it's so fast. I mean, it's really fast. So it is like a six part, five part stencil. Um, so here, here's the different stencils. It comes in a pack with your different layers. Let's see. And there you go. So what's that? Five stencils. And what's really cool about it, it's really easy to follow along on the package. It comes with this, with your steps. Um, and what's cool about this here is it shows you your different grayscales. If you don't have a grayscale finder, uh, which I have one around here somewhere. Um, so super easy if you want to mix your own. Or you can purchase the grayscale line and water base and now you can get it in solvent based uh, or urethanes however you want to call it house of colors um, on this one I mixed my own using chalk white Tamco intensity and the blackout black Tamco intensity super easy pre-mixed them uh, I've got my pre-mixed my whites and my blacks here and then I pre-mixed my grays already. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up and then we are going to go step by step real quick, 15, 20 minutes at the most. And we're going to duplicate a skull like this. Super easy. Uh, so stand by and we will do that. Okay. So I have my panel prepped. We're going to lay the first stencil, which is going to be your N5 stencil. So this will be Basically, the color is going to be the neutral five color. I have a couple of registration marks there. So I'm just going to put the stencil down. So I'll hit these registration marks first just so I have a good starting point. So I'm using a Creos PS290 with a fan cap on it. Lays down the coverage is super fast, so we're just gonna go in here. Hit it real quick, make sure you have enough paint in the coat. Sometimes I like to hold down the edges just because I know they jump up. All right, so there's the first one done. I'm gonna clean out the brush real quick and I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep it rolling because I just wanna show you how fast it is to use this. Even as you're cleaning out your brush in between each one. Brush there. Pick this up. First stencil's done. Next one will be our N3 stencil. So your neutral three is your next step. Like I said, I've already got these all pre-mixed using Tamco paints. I'm using the intensity line chalk white and blackout black. Oh. Make sure. 
nicer when you're you don't get stuff on your stencil to cover it up. Alright. Alright, so that's my neutral three. See it's darker. Let me clean out this brush. Next one is going to be the N7, which is your neutral seven color. Again, we're just lining up our marks. Seven. We'll clean our brush. Again, we want to clean it out in between each color. I know it's a little time consuming between each color. That way, we don't really contaminate our next color. This kind of is dependent on. Colors being semi clean when you're running them through. So we'll just tack it off a little bit in case we have a little bit of overspray. Next color is going to be our neutral nine, so the N9 stencil. And we'll Put this on. Down. Throw our paint in there. So, <clears throat> so the N9 and the N7 are very close. That's why it's good to clean your butt brush out in between each one, between each color. That way you know you're getting your. Uh, your gradient change. So your N9 and your N7 are very similar in colors. They're two steps away from on the on your grayscale. So if you look, your seven and your nine. And then your N1, neutral one, the next step. So this is your darker color. So again, you're lining up your registration marks, coming in, hitting it.
there you go. Wipe it down. Careful, the paint's still gonna be a little wet, so wipe it down kind of lightly. We got a little bit of haze on here. I will clean that up. Uh, just take this. Make a clean blue shop rag. thing a little bit just to clean it up peel it off boom there you go so there is your moneymaker skull in under 10 minutes now you can go in and kind of fade some of these out get rid of some of the hard edges and make it look <clears throat> a little more realistic what I'm gonna do on uh, the next video is I'm going to run some blue flames off the back side of this. And I will video that on how I do the blue flames just like I did green flames on this, this side. So on this side we will do the blue flames. So that's real quick how to do this money maker in under 10 minutes. And then simple as that. So if you guys like this series, I'm going to do a few more videos on different templates of um, the skulls. So we did the Sinister Skulls already. Now we did the Moneymaker Skulls. Uh, and then I'm going to do, there's a few others. There's some weird, like kind of off-brand ones I found. <clears throat> so again, on this one, like I was telling you earlier, here's a, a grayscale value finder. Uh, so it's not perfect to the paint here's one that's pretty close so you can see like mixing your own your grayscales are pretty close of course your inks and your paints are not going to be 100% on So like I said, if you like this, like and share. If you want to see different stencils and how-tos, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, when we do the blue fire, remember, rock on.